Hey, welcome to Electra Online and now let's talk about the difference between the solar day and the side reel day. Whenever you hear the word solar day, it's a day relative to the sun. That's the day that we experience every day in our lives. It is 24 hours long, but it's not related exactly to the rotation of the earth. And let me explain in just a moment. So what that means, solar day, is that if we wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning and the sun is in a specific position, if we then wake up a day later, the earth will begin facing the sun in the very same spot and that takes exactly 24 hours. But what is a side reel day? Well, a side reel day, whenever you hear side reel, it has to do with the stars. It is the rotation of the earth relative to the stars. And it turns out the earth makes one rotation on its axis, not every 24 hours, but actually every 23 hours, 56 minutes, and about nine and a half seconds. So it's about four minutes short of a 24-hour day. The Earth will make one complete rotation every 23 hours, 56 minutes, and nine and a half seconds. So why aren't our days exactly 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 9.5 seconds? That's because we want to be, we want to live in days that are relative to the sun. And so what happens is, let's say the Earth makes one complete rotation on its axis in 23 hours, 56 minutes, and nine and a half seconds, but during that very same time, the Earth will have moved in its orbit a certain distance because the Earth goes around the Sun once every year, once every 365 and a quarter days, and one complete circle is 360 degrees, which means that every day the Earth moves approximately through one degree in its orbit around the Sun. So after one day, the Earth will have moved, and so when the Earth then makes one complete rotation, if you're then standing at the Earth, you're no longer pointing directly at the Sun, the Earth will have to turn for another four minutes before you again point it directly to the Sun. I try to illustrate that here with my drawing. Let's say this is one day, and you're looking directly at the Sun right here, and when the Earth turns completely around, you'll be pointing exactly in the same direction relative to the stars, but since the Earth has moved through its orbit a distance of one degree, the Earth will have to turn another approximately four minutes before you point it directly to the Sun again. And that is the, dis the difference between a solar day and a side real day. So a solar day means you have to turn it off until you're pointed the same spot on the earth is pointed directly at the sun again after exactly 24 hours. But it'll point to the exact same star again after 23 hours, 56 minutes, and about 9.5 seconds. So another four minutes and you're pointing back to the sun. So again, remember that the earth moves about one degree in a day, or if you want to be more precise, 360 degrees divided by, oop, I've got that one wrong. There's 365 and a quarter days, so let me correct that. So this is right here. So it'd be 365 and a quarter days in a year, and that's the exact the emotion, amount of motion in degrees for the Earth to go around the, as the Earth goes around the Sun. And now you know the difference between a side real day and a solar day.